These comments from the White House are disgraceful and disgusting, and these comments are racist. How shameful to hear him continue to defend those offensive words, words that we have all heard him repeat, not only about our members, but about countless others. Our caucus will continue to forcefully respond to those attacks on our members, which reflect a fundamental disrespect for the beautiful diversity of America. There is no place anywhere for the president's words, which are not only divisive, but dangerous, and have legitimized and increased fear and hatred of new Americans and people of color. It's so sad because you would think that there would be a given that we would universally in this body just say, of course, of course. But the, and there's no excuse for any response to those words but a swift and strong unified condemnation. Every single member of this institution, Democratic and Republican, should join us in condemning the president's racist tweets. To do anything less would be a shocking rejection of our values and a shameful abdication Suspense. of our oath of office to protect the American people. I urge the a unanimous vote Thank and you. yield back the balance of my I was just going to give the general speaker of the House if she would like to rephrase that comment. I have cleared my remarks with the parliamentarian before I read them. And take it. Can I ask the words be taken down? I make a point of order the gentlewoman's words are unparliamentary and risk ready to be taken down. The chair will remind uh, all members, please, please do not uh, make uh, comments uh, toward personality-based uh, personality comments. The gentleman from Georgia is recognized. I made a point of order that the gentlewoman's armed parliamentary and request they be taken down.